Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into Bitcoin once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you to each and every single one of you for everything that you do. Honestly, the, sharing is caring. The level of support on this channel is amazing. What a community of people you are. And you know, I, I tried to go through all the comments and read them yesterday. Thank you. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So right now, Bitcoin is is holding this support at the moment. Okay, like I said to you, the worst case scenario, you have a little whip down. I give you support level yesterday, but what I didn't do is show you the retracement levels that we're going through right now for Bitcoin. Okay, so at the minute you're retracing because you've come up impulsively. Okay, you come up impulsively and you're retracing to a key level support for continuation of the trend, basically. So if you can hold this 55, amazing. You can see you've come down below the 236 at the moment. So if you was to roll out, you've got a key level support on there, the 382, which is 55888. Okay, you will potentially see a little bounce there come back up and continuation right there because what we're looking for is an abc correction okay and if you look at each abc correction look one two three do you see that even there you got one two three do you see that just there you got one two three well basically an abc and you can see that this b wave was very short-lived it's just a little impulse and then a drop okay and you can see this wave is roughly the same size of this a wave down so you got your a your b and then you see basically bottom out find the bottom out structure and off we go basically you know so what i'm going to show you right now is the potential that everyone is expecting us to lose this low aren't they you know and roll over and lose this low it could happen obviously it could and i'm giving you key levels of support that you want to see held primarily the 382 and the 050 which you can see is this swing high and we've got the larger 786 which i gave you yesterday but you know for me if you do start to roll and lose these key levels of support you know you're looking at a larger retracement here you know coming back down to a key level support start to retrace deeper and especially if you come down below the golden ratio you're losing this swing high here as well which could be quite negative you know the precursor to the fact that you're going to roll over and create something called a reversal wave coming all the way back down to where you formed it okay and with that with that you're sort of rolling over and you're losing the trend that you're in because you are in an uptrend you've come up impulsively and you're retracing for the continuation of the trend you understand that so it's all about holding support which you are doing so you're coiling up for some kind of break you know so one thing i want to show you and it is funny it is funny honestly but you know we've covered this before uh, for bitcoin is the moon phase okay so with the moon phases we we have uh, dump moons and pump moons okay so the green moons are pump moons and the red moons are dump moons you know and uh, they work in synchronicity with the the moon cycles basically so what i'm going to show you right now is the fact that we've never ever really dumped basically on a pump moon we've consolidated uh, but we've, we've i think we've nine times out of ten I'll, I'll count it in a moment but we have usually pumped it sounds so silly doesn't it but pay attention to this because you know right now you know people are getting quite negative i'm seeing quite negative and bearish comments on uh twitter that, that we're in a bear market and it, this is it the bear market bear market's here you've not lost any structure yet to, to to say that do you understand that it's hopium it's bear market hopium you know you're holding key levels of structure and support for continuation of the trend you you'll be tracing okay so do do expect that bitcoin hold support put in another impulsive wave and at that point we'll see where we're going okay because like i said to you the next impulsive wave here is around about 75 76k isn't it you know and we do need to break out of that impulsive 1618 uh fibonacci extension there that we do keep meeting on the nose before we retrace because if we don't potentially that could be your sort of end game at the moment anyway where we do come back for a larger retracement before continuation of the trend so at this point we do need to break out of that 1618 fib extension and start to go a bit parabolic if we're going to meet the likes of plan b's 98k by the end of november you know and i have got an impulsive wave target up there of 107k as you're fully aware uh i think i've said it might get there by the end of december i said didn't i in a, in a trend based fib time experiment that i did last week so you're doing well basically bitcoin is doing well you know there's nothing for me that's negative about bitcoin at the moment it's it's coming back it's retracing which i want to see i've always been transparent with you look when we get overextended you want to see it go sideways coil up on these emas get the gap in look because look at the gap there come back popped out get this gap in pop out you know worst case scenario we do have another little roll and put in a larger abc and come back down to a key level support and hold it you know primarily the 050 the 382 the worst case is the 0618 if we start to roll and lose the 0618 that could be a precursor to the fact that you're going to form a reversal wave losing this low and with that you're putting a new impulsive wave down and you're potentially losing these lows as well you know and you're looking at a bit of a roll over here but at the minute that's hopium do you understand that you know it's hopium because you 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 retain in market structure and 
and support for the continuation of the trend that you're in, which is an uptrend, okay? Because especially, you know, on the weekly here, look look how far you're away from the 20. You know, like I said to you, on any time frame, when you're above this yellow line, this, you're in an uptrend, okay? Fall back to it, hold a support, boom, see you later. So, you know, if there was a bit of a rollover, the, the weekly EMA right there is at 52722. You know, the most important weekly EMA is the 20 EMA, in my opinion. A lot of people use the 21. I, I've always used the 20 and the 55. A lot of people use it because it's Fibonacci numbers, but I've always used the 20 and 55. It's what I'm used to, okay? So, yeah, if, even if you did have a role, that's a, a key level of support that I would like to see hold for Bitcoin. I do think it would hold as well, you know? So you've come up, you're retracing for the continuation of the trend. Do you understand that? So enough spiel. Uh, looking at the daily time frame, because this is what the moon phase works best on the daily time frame. You can see, look, the green, the green bars here represent... The pump moons basically and the red bars here the red moon so the red circle represents a dump moon and you can see it's quite consistent you know so what we're going to do is circle each pump moon so we've got one there okay from this from say from here okay we've got a pump moon there we pumped look and then we've got a pump moon there and we pump look so just there we did that little pump as well just there look we've got a lovely little pump uh just there was a level of consolidation really it sort of opened there and it went sideways pretty much closed on the dump moon pretty much a little bit below so we'll just strike that one as a little bit of a consolidation moon again equally here this is a consolidation moon in the low just there and then this was actually a pump moon that was a beautiful pump moon uh, just there that was a bit of a pump moon looks so it open there and open closed higher so that was a pump moon just there that was a beautiful pump moon look at that and then just here from there to there pretty much sideways wasn't it so you we've never really dumped on a pump moon this one trying to get to you you know say to you so effectively i think it's today or tomorrow that we've actually got a pump moon so are we going to pump or are we going sideways you know we're looking for a sideways bottom out pattern potentially the pump moon will start to create that and then we'll start to pump from there it sounds really silly doesn't it but i'm just looking at the history of these pump and dump moons and you can see that pretty much on each pump moon we are kind of pumping we never really go into negative do we so it sounds ever so silly that we we're actually watching the moons in order to sort of forecast bitcoin but sometimes it is as simple as that isn't it so right now we're looking for a bottom out pattern on bitcoin okay and what you want to look for on a four hourly time frame especially uh, is the double bottom pattern you know the most important pattern you can see is a re reversal pattern so for me this is what we're looking at for bitcoin okay high lows and beautiful w bottom pattern and hopefully some kind of ascending ascending triangle right now you know ww bottom pan like this hold that support come on break that neckline back test hold support on the pump moon i think the pump moon's today the 18th of november i could be completely wrong this always takes a day to populate it so tomorrow this will be green you have a nice little green circle and i do think that that potentially is the ignition for the pump basically and that you could be looking at a big upside here and you you may potentially get to the 98k by the end of the month who knows but if it was to get there from here right now you know and start to go on and meet plan b's uh, target by the end of the month right there for uh, bitcoin you could be looking at a 66 percent long opportunity by the end of the month which would be amazing it is a bit opium obviously but you know so that's basically bitcoin we're looking for a bottom out pattern we're looking to hold support which we are doing okay we are currently holding support you know we we have put in a kind of abc correction you can see that look that waveform that a that b and that c okay and it was a very short one as well if we look on the daily like that you know a very small abc correction hold support create a beautiful bottom out pattern and then you know get the hell out of here basically so i've given you key level support you know if you do start to lose this key level support of 55 on the daily and roll over you've got a level support there at 382 which is 55888 you know and then obviously if you roll over there you've got the 050 at 52345 and then the worst case scenario is if you do start to come all the way down to the golden ratio that could be a precursor because equally you're losing that high just there that you're going to come down and lose that low and with that you're putting a new impulsive wave down to lower targets down there okay so i did say to you it was going to be a bumpy ride and it's a long journey isn't it you know to this 200k that we've got forecast in the channel but i do expect it will eventually get there for bitcoin but it's time isn't it there's a saying time in the market beats timing in the market watch this space enjoy the show everyone and thank you for your support everybody okay take care one back soon with an update on bitcoin stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye